So, hello and welcome back. Now, today we're not doing Jaguar, we're not doing Ford Ranger, we're not doing a stationary engine, we're not doing trailers, we're not doing anything like that. We're doing Audi A5, right? So, the problem with the Audi A5 is uh, the exhaust clamp underneath has rotted off. So, I'll show you that in a moment. And I've got to fit a new one of these. Look at that. Looks very substantial, doesn't it? So we've got to put one of these on the Audi A5. So uh, let me show you what's uh, what's happened to ours. So this is what's happened to ours. Now, if you can see, it's all rotten. Um, I think that's actually nearly rotted through there. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to change that. Now, I've never changed one of these before in my life. Uh, it looks quite straightforward, but we'll find out. But yeah, hopefully these uh, these will undo. Though looking at them, it's a bit optimistic it might be. I might have to cut them off yet. Uh, and yes, this is the one we've got to replace it with. So it has got part numbers on. Yeah. Now I'm we've there's only part of the number left, so we've sort of had to guess. So uh, let's see if this uh, bolt will undo. Now look at that, I didn't expect that. It's all them years of working at Jaguar, you see, or Land Rover. If you've had a Land Rover or a Jaguar, you know that this is a very, very rare sight. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, let me uh, get this off. Well, both of those and done really easily. Yeah, look at that, let's see, oh yeah. It's not gone through, oh, oh wait a minute. Now, I'm presuming it's just, now this is from watching people on YouTube now, because I, um, hang on, let me see if we can film this at the same time. So bear with me. Let's see if we can slide it that way. Oh, oh, easy peasy, look at that. Let's try and not break the new phone, we've not had that long. Now that has to be the easiest job I've ever done on an Audi in my life, so far. So there we go, so it's not uh, not failed yet, but as you can see, it's not far off failing, but you can just see part of the number, 41 and yeah. So like I say, it was, was going. Um, now this one was, 19 pounds with delivery off eBay. Now to have this done in Audi, I think my mum was quoted, oh, it was like 110 pounds to fit this. If uh, anybody wants these fitting, I'll do it for 90. Because um, <laughs> 90 pounds I'll fit anybody's, yeah? That's cheaper than Audi. <laughs> That's supplying the part as well, yeah? Because I've been here literally it took me longer to jack it up than it has to take that off. Right, even if I had to cut this off, it wouldn't have been that bad. Right, so let's get the new one on. So I don't know if you meant to or not, but I've put some uh, very thin layered on exhaust joining stuff. Um, I don't know what you call it exactly, but it's the stuff that you put when you put an exhaust back together again. Now I'm not sure if you meant to put that on or not, but I've put it on very thin. Um, just so it seals 100%. Um, let's be honest, you're not, we probably won't be taking that off for years because the exhaust on it's quite quite good. Um, so yeah, like I said, I don't know if you meant to do that, but I'll put it on thin, so if you had to take it off, you could get it off. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's uh, try and get it back on. So I've just put some that sealer stuff, because obviously look, you can see it's a bit black on the edge here and may not be 100% smooth, I don't know, we'll find out, but anyway. Uh, we're there. Oh, look at that, this sooty. So, yeah, let's uh, get it back on. So, basically, we're just going to... Oh, hang on, how did it go? That's it, like that. It's nice and, e it's nice and easy, this, you know. I mean, just lift that pipe up and slot it on. So, bear with me. There we are. 
have it. That's where it's going to go. Literally where the old one went. And now we just need to uh, do it up. I have to say, this is the easiest job I've ever done on an Audi. Oh, so you need a uh, 13 millimeter. All right. So we'll do a little bit on that one. A little bit on this one. Oh. This has to be the easiest Audi repair ever, honestly. If you're like me and you do quite a few jobs, you know, some of the jobs you start on and you think, oh my gosh, what have I got myself into here? This one's not bad. I don't know if there's a torque setting to this, but we're not, we're just doing it up tight. I advise you lift the car a little bit higher. I wish I had because I've made it a bit tight for myself. <laughs> Good. Look at that, perfect. So that is one new exhaust clamp. Um, I have to say that is unbelievably easy considering I'm working on an Audi. Um, um, yeah, I mean, some jobs on these Audis aren't too bad, but I don't know, I, I do find these a lot harder than Jaguars to work on. Uh, you know, you seem to have to have like special tools and things a bit more often. But uh, yeah, so that's it. So good. So that was literally a 10 minute job. Can't believe how easy it was. Literally, I think my mum was quoted 110 pounds at Audi to do that. Uh, I'd be quite happily to do anybody's for 90. You know what I mean? <laughs> Three of those a day, I mean, wow. You know, you can, you can buy the pit for 20. I mean, that's not bad, is it? Um, yeah, so I, I should get a little dealership and have just people coming in for them clamps. <laughs> um, but yeah. So uh, if you want to fix that yourself, you will save yourself a small fortune. You're gonna let's be honest. If it's a if it's a hundred and ten pound job, you'll save you, you'll be about what ninety quid better off for doing that yourself. Ninety pounds, right? That's unbelievable, isn't it? For a ten minute job, right? And the part was twenty pound. That's it. And it's a proper Audi part. So <laughs> unbelievable. So uh, anyway, the XJR goes for a twelve months MOT today. So let's hope that passes. Fingers crossed. Um, now, I want to put some performance brake discs and pads on it, but I want to keep the original calipers. So if anyone knows a good place where to get some drilled discs or drilled and grooved discs, let me know. I did find one place, uh, M-Tech or something, but unfortunately they're sold out on the front. And I need the 355 millimeter discs on the front. And uh, I think it's 326 millimeter on the back or 336 i think it's 326 i've got it all written down in the house but i need them size discs and unfortunately everyone is sold out of these front discs you can either get the rear ones and not the front or the front and not the rear and i want a matching set so if anyone knows anywhere that is in england that's not like a thousand pounds let me know uh please leave a message in the comments yeah i'll be very appreciative of that one so that might be the next job on the xjr I do want to do a few little jobs on that over the next year because we're doing the North Coast 5, whatever it is, 8-1 or something, next year. And I need to get some of these things done on it because uh, we've been neglecting it a little bit. Um, like I said, I've done a lot of work to the pickup truck. I've done a couple of jobs on the Audi and I haven't, I've haven't. i done the food messing around with trailers and stuff in the garage. And I've not really done a lot with the Jag, so we need to crack on with that. Um, so, yeah. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's not Jaguar or, Ra or Ford Ranger or other random stuff I've got in the garage but there you go if you've got an Audi and you get that problem don't go to Audi pay 19 pounds off eBay and fit it yourself yeah 10 minute job you really have to be really really not very good with cars to mess that up I'll be quite honest with you it's that sort of simple so uh yeah yeah <laughs> all right just make sure when you jack your car up you got it you know you put something under it so it doesn't land on your head because you will uh, know about that
So anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you all very soon with a new video, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, have a good one and I'll see you all soon.